joining us right here at the Wacom One very special Shopee live stream today. Now we're here actually at Wacom Day event and today we're going to be telling you all about the very new Wacom One. So do stay tuned because we're going to wait for a few more viewers to join us. So let me just check in with who is with us here today. Now, if you're here with us, give us a holler, shout out, you know, or even tell us what you're very excited about to see about the Wacom One. Maybe you've watched videos online about it or you've heard more about it from your friends that draw. So, come in and tell me some comments, okay? I'm going to join in and see what people are saying right now. So, if you're here, once again, just give us a shout out, say hello so that we know you're here. Now, once again, today, we will be sharing more about the Wacom One Plus. We will be also giving out two of these brand new Wacom One Creative Tablet. Okay, so these are great. We've actually had time to test it out. And in fact, we will be having people joining us to actually demo what it is really like to draw on the Wacom One, the texture, the feel, it is just great. Okay, so let's check in. So we have Carrie So and Gary that says, hello, hello, if you're here with us today, now go tell your friends, especially friends that draw or they are very creative, they are into, you know, art and all those kind of things. If they, you know, draw or they maybe do creative comics, they are an art student, tell them to join us for our very special stream today because once again, we will be giving out two of these Wacom Ones right here on our stream okay so let's check bitbyte says hi thank you for joining us here today now in fact today we're not going to just unbox the welcome one we're going to give you a live demo of it and of course give away two of these tablets as well in fact we have a very very special artist that will be joining us later to actually demonstrate the Wacom One and as an artist tell you how it really feels and experience to use the Wacom One okay so Kerry so says, why is there no free Shopee cons? Well, that is because today we're having our very special stream. It is a Shopee Times Wacom stream, okay? So if you want Shopee coins, join us for our streams later. But right now, we're actually here at Wacom Day. So we're off-site, we're not at the studio today. We're here to talk more about the Wacom One and we will be unboxing it in just a little bit, okay? So let's stay tuned for that. Okay, so Sushi Foam asks, how do we win the Wacom One? Very easily, at the end of every Shopee stream, we have a giveaway. We're going to play a little game with you guys. And of course, it's all by luck, okay? So we will be telling you more later on how you can stand a chance to win for yourself a Wacom One. Now, this is actually altogether worth $1,100, okay? So two Wacom ones are worth $1,100. Each of them are actually retailing at $549. So that's right, if you didn't win it in our giveaway later, you can keep the money aside, okay? And get yourself this brand new Wacom one as well. So do we have any Wacom users here today, okay? So if you're here with us on the Shopee Live, hi, I'm Abigail, okay? Shout out! Say hello in the comments, drop us a few comments so that we know you're here and when you're here, when more people join us, we're gonna start by unboxing this amazing Wacom One. I'm really excited to actually unbox it and show it to you because we've had the opportunity here to actually play around with the Wacom One. We've done some amazing stuff and of course, I have an amazing illustrator artist friend with me here today to show you the magic of the Wacom One, okay? So do stay tuned for that. And of course, if you haven't already heard, we're giving out two of these Wacom Ones today. So we have a lot more. Hi, okay. Fiona, does it work like a tablet, iPad? Well, this is a little bit different, okay? So we will be answering some of these questions later. But right now, let's go into starting our Wacom One stream today, okay? So if you're here, very welcome to our special Shopee Live. I'm Abigail and today we have a very Shopee Times Wacom special, special stream. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through the Wacom One. So right here, we have it boxed. I'm gonna unbox it in just a bit. But before that, very exciting things. We're giving out two of these Wacom ones today. All you gotta do is stay tuned all the way till the end where we will be playing a little game with you guys for our giveaway. Okay, so if you're ready or you know you want to have a higher chance of winning the Wacom one, go get your friends to join us on the stream right now. So once again, this is actually worth 
$549. We're giving out two of that, so it's over $1,100 that we're giving away today to you, to two lucky viewers. So once again, if you have your friends, your family, you're an artist, you have friends or family that draws, they're very, very creative, get them to join us today to find out more about the Wacom One. Now, I'm going to go straight into unboxing it, okay? It has a really huge box, and as you can see, very amazing creative design, okay? Because Wacom is really all about creativity. We're all about supporting artists as well. So I'm going to open it up, okay? And you can see right here, it comes very safely packed in a cardboard box, okay? All right, so the Wacom is actually a screen size of 13.3 inches. Now, the resolution is 1,000... Uh, and 80 times 9,000, uh, 1,920, okay? So I'm going to pop this out first. So as you can see, obviously, the Wacom comes very beautifully protected in this black case. And I'm going to pull it right out of it. Okay, so this is our Wacom One tablet. Now, this is once again 13.3 inches and it comes with a resolution of 19,020 times 1080, okay? In fact, it even has up to 72% NTSC color, okay? So, I'm going to put the tablet aside first and I'm going to show you what else is in the box, okay? So, basically, as you can see, you have some basic instructions here. You actually have to connect the tablet to either of a laptop or a phone as well as a power source while you're drawing okay now we also have our little one com pen here i'm gonna pop that right out and there you go it's actually a two-tone colored pen so it's really cute and it has a very very good design as well so it's not just one color it's actually two-toned and what else is in the box Okay, so we have the charging cable, we also have the adapters, there's also the user guide and the regulations that is very very important if you want to know more about your Wacom, okay? In fact, they have different different kind of adapters as well for maybe when you travel. So you're an artist that travels on the go, we have different adapters as well so that when you travel, you know, you don't have to actually change the whole plug or you don't have to actually use a travel adapter. You can very easily change the adapter plugs up. Now, in fact, this also actually comes with three replacement pen nibs, okay? So as you can see, I'm going to take out my pen once again. And the pen... The nib of the pen is actually replaceable. There are three in the box. So that keeps you safe for a pretty long time, I would say. Because these pen nibs are very, very durable. They don't actually spoil very easily. So now I'm going to put this Wacom aside. Because you know what? I've already set up the Wacom that we are going to be using for our stream today. So I'm going to use that to tell you so much more about what we have for the Wacom 1. Okay? Now, when you have your Wacom 1, okay? So as you can see right here. On the box, it says, includes bonus software pack. So what bonus software pack are we talking about? Well, firstly, we have bamboo paper. So you can download bamboo paper for free to use with your Wacom tablet. Now, if you use other software, in fact, we have two other software that you can consider. Firstly, you can actually enjoy Clip Studio Paint Pro for free on a six months trial. And we also have Adobe Premium Rush for up to a two months trial that you can use with your Wacom One tablet, okay? So now let's talk more about, you know, the Wacom One, of course. If you're talking about digital creation, you know, you might have used a traditional Wacom, uh, Wacom tablet where it is just a black tablet. I have seen a lot of my friends use that. But this is so much better because I was talking to our artist just now and what he was saying is that normally, traditionally, you might have to scan the image and then you have to import it into your computer and then you work on it. But this one, as you can see, we have the paper. Your canvas is right here. So you want to add a twist to maybe your visual thinking or you're just looking to actually improve your digital impression. The Wacom one is great. Now, I have a question, okay? Tiffany MK asks, is it good for interior design? Of course it's good for an interior designer because, you know, it's not for just illustration and things like that. But once again, if you're an interior designer, you want to maybe easily have the freedom to actually draw. As you can see, you're actually drawing straight on the tablet. So traditionally, maybe with other kind of design pads, you're actually drawing on the pad and you're looking at your computer screen. And that can be a little bit far. But this one, you really get to have 
a few and go straight into it because guess what guys as you can see this is probably about the size of an A4 paper okay so this actually also really has a feel of the paper what I really really oh. love about this is that the surface is very smooth it actually mimics the feel of drawing on paper so if you're a very traditional kind of artist and you're like no I'm a very strictly pen and paper kind of person you will be very very surprised when you use the Wacom one because it really actually feels like you're just drawing on pen and paper and on top of that another very very special thing about the pen is that it has a very ergonomic design it has a very very good grip it has very smooth and of course there's this little button here that you can actually use to very quickly undo your old designs or if you've made a mistake you don't have to pull out the eraser you just have to click the button point it towards the screen and the mistakes will be gone now on top of that you can draw at any degree and any angle and the pen will actually pick up the kind of pressure point that you are pressing on so earlier just now i was trying it out as well when i was pressing it on really really hard my line came out really thick but when i was actually very using very little force it comes with as little tiny sketch marks okay so this is actually a very good pen because you can also easily change the colors and the brush size very easy using the wacom one so of course more of that we will be showing you but i'm just going to give you a little sneak peek here okay so I can actually change up the brush, I can actually change up the colour. Now someone is asking about the weight. The weight of the Wacom one is actually 1kg. Now 1kg might seem heavy but to be honest, that's almost the same size as your laptop. Same um, weight as your laptop. And in fact, we're going to get some questions about laptop and if you use it, do you need to use your laptop with this, right? I'm going to get to that in just a bit. But once again, I'm just going to talk about the amazing surface friction, okay? Because it really feels like nothing. Even if I very, very lightly draw against it, I can see actually very, very light lines come out. So I don't think you're able to see it, but I've actually have done very light lines and it's all based on pressure point. Not to worry, our artists will show you more much later. Okay, so... With the Wacom one, you can actually get the best of both worlds. Because traditionally, when you use pen and paper, you know, if there's a mistake that you make, especially if you're using pen, it's very hard to correct that kind of mistake. You kind of have to draw over it or restart again. But with the Wacom one, it gives you convenience. You can easily edit your designs. You can easily change your designs, change the colors as well. As and when according to, especially if you're a designer and you have clients. Maybe your clients want you to change colors for certain items and things like that. With the Wacom one, you can very, very easily do that. In fact, what I love about it is, you know when you're working on screens, like other different computer screens and things like that they have very very strong reflective surfaces but the Wacom one doesn't have a very reflective surface so it's actually very very comfortable for your eyes to use that even after drawing for hours you won't feel that it is very very strenuous because of the kind of surface it is not as reflective as your normal computer screens or your other designing software okay now as you can see I have the legs up it has amazing ergonomics because these are actually built-in stands so very easily you can fold them in or you can actually pull them up so you can work it flat on the surface or you know when you're on like working on a chair in a desk for a very very long time you want to be more comfortable so you want to kind of like sit in and draw you can do that as well but once again we have built in these actually foldable legs that gives you a 19 degrees tilt which is a very very comfortable tilt for normal drawing now, I was talking about softwares just now, right? So people are asking me, how do you have to use this standalone? Do you have to connect it to a computer? Guess what? The Wacom one has to be connected to a computer. It is compatible with Windows as well as Mac. Plus, now the Wacom one is actually even compatible with Android. So guess what? If you have your Samsung Docs phones or your Huawei phones, you can actually very easily use Samsung Dex or the Huawei Note. So with that, you can actually connect your phone to the Wacom and you can actually have it like this. So today, we are actually having it connected to our Samsung phone. So we are using Samsung Dex mode today, okay? So once again, if you have a Samsung phone or a Huawei phone, an Android operating phone, you can actually connect the Wacom one to it and you can use it. So we have someone asking, Choi Moi, what is the battery like? Guess what, okay? The Wacom is actually plugged in. So when you're using the Wacom, it has to be plugged in and you're probably wondering about the pen. 
how much battery, how long can the pen last. Guys, this pen is actually battery free, okay? So this is really, really convenient. You don't have to worry about charging the Wacom One or charging the pen and then maybe you're drawing halfway, you're in this really, really intensive stroke and then it goes out of battery. You don't have to worry all about that with the Wacom One because once again, it's really the best of both, world, both worlds. We've really built it for your convenience when it comes to creativity, drawing or even expressing yourself. Okay, now, some people are asking how much is the Wacom One? If you haven't already heard, the Wacom One is going at $549. Now, that is a very 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 affordable price because i know these things can be really really pricey but for 549 the kind of comfort the kind of design that you can get and the kind of flexibility that you can use with your wacom one is pretty pretty worth it and it's pretty pretty i think it's a great steal guys okay so i'm gonna check into a bit of the comments okay and see um, Fleur says it's perfect for digital art applications. That's right, it is actually perfect for digital art applications. Okay, Christine Teacher Bay says it's good for art illustrations. That's right, it is good for art illustrations as well. Um, let's see, okay. So Fiona asks, is it compatible with Apple? Yes, it is compatible with your normal Mac software. Okay, so it is compatible. Normally, when you use your Wacom, you actually have to have it connected to either a Windows computer or a Mac computer. But you can actually even use the Wacom one with your Android phones if you have the compatible software of Samsung DeX mode or the Huawei PC mode, okay? So I've raised so much about the Wacom One, you know what? It's time to bring in a guest. In fact, today I will have two different guests with me. But very firstly, before I invite my illustrator guest, can I please have Miss Lin Yasu join us for our stream, okay? Because we have a few questions. So Miss Lin Yasu is actually the Hello. country manager for Wacom. So hi, Yasu. Hi, hi. So can you tell us a little bit more, you know, if you have any questions yeah. or any comments, okay, for Miss Lin or Yas? Do you want me to address you? Yasu is good. Yasu, Yasu is good, okay? So if you have any questions for Yasu or any comments about Wacom, you can actually leave it down in the comment. We're going to address it in a bit. But before that, I'm going to ask Yasu a few questions of my own, okay? So sure, okay. maybe you would like to hold the pen. Sure, sure. Okay, can you share with us? You've probably worked with the Wacom mm -hmm. team and you know, you've probably known so much about the Wacom One. What is your favorite feature about the Wacom One? Okay, so for my favorite feature for this will be that Actually, there's so many features that I like about there it. There is, there really Just is. Just one features that I yeah, have to that talk about. That you really like. Really? That is like the best, like if you know you're shopping for like all of these kind of tablets yeah. and one reason why you would definitely pick the Wacom one. Definitely because it's uh, compatible with Samsung and okay. the Android devices because mm. I personally use a Samsung phone. Okay. So it's very good because my Samsung phone is so small. With mm -hmm. this 13 inch, it connects to it and I can do my work on it and even watch Netflix on it. Also. Oh wow, yeah. that's pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, because all you need is you probably don't even need your laptop because now yes. this, right. all we really need when we go out to work is our phones, right? But sometimes the screens are too small. I'm very impressed. You can even use your Wacom One as a work-on-the-go tablet. So you do use the Wacom One as a work-on-the-go tablet. Yes, and correct. all you need is just your Wacom One and your phone. Yep. That's right. Okay, so how is the Wacom One actually different from other digital tablets? Okay, so for Wacom, we are in this industry for almost 35 years. And so uh, a lot of artists are using Wacom, definitely. Yes, I agree. A lot of my friends that are art students they all have a walk home that's good that's good <laughs> yeah so for this of course it's a 13 inch mm -hmm. it's good and of course the price point is so sweet it's 549 you won't get any Wacom that is a pen display at a 500 price point. Yeah. That's right. I actually heard that these normally outside tablets, how, what is the price range that you will find? Um, the cheapest one for Wacom, I would say the most affordable pen tablet would be a triple eight. But it doesn't have a screen, right? It uh, doesn't that, that, that has a screen. Oh, it has a screen. Yeah, okay. 16 inch screen. 16 inch, okay, okay. Yeah. But this is definitely better because it's an updated version yes, as well. Correct, and definitely. it is compatible with phones, yes, right? Definitely. All right, okay. So let's check in with our question. Okay, is the interface easy for beginners with GeoTestCon 63? Would you say that the interface is easy for beginners, Ms. Yasu? Definitely. It's a plug and play. 
anything, any software, Photoshop, Maya, anything you can use. And even it comes with software if you don't want to invest in it. In it. Yeah, that's right. Because earlier we mentioned that it comes with bamboo paper just for free for you. And in fact, we have two other software as well that will be on trial for you to use. For example, we actually have the Clip Studio Paint Pro that has a six months trial for you as well as the Adobe Premium Rush for you to use for two months trial. So you can actually use these programs from trial and if you really like it, invest in it. Because I mean, if you're a yep. serious creative, if you're an individual that is really all about the art, these programs are definitely going to help you and they're compatible with your Wacom One. Yep. Alright, let's check in. Do we have any more questions for Yasu, okay? I'm and gonna more? give it a check, yep. okay? Or do you have any like maybe frequently asked questions that um, people actually ask you about? What we have is like people will always ask, can it be connected to Android, you know, our previous uh, current even covered models. So now I'm glad that this model can connect to Android. You fix that issue yes, that your correct. customers have been yes, talking about. Yes, that yes. is great. So once again, guys, Wacom is listening out to all you artists here and they're constantly improving for you. That's why we have the brand new Wacom one. Okay, someone actually asked, what is the RAM and memory? Do you oh. Okay, this one actually is just only a screen. So it's RAM and screen. memory is up to your laptops that you're putting in. That's right, so it's yeah. really up to your phone or what you're connected yes, to, right? So O82 also asks, is there any USB port? Nope, it doesn't come with any USB port. It's uh, very slim, slick. There's only a power in. All USB port will be on your laptop. Okay, so how do you actually connect it to your phone then? Okay, you will need a uh, Type-C, mm -hmm. okay, the converter. Um, I think you can get any out there from uh, Challenger or Challenger. Any, any any IT shops out there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So very easy. I'm just gonna repeat what she said. USB C port. Okay. Yes, so it's like this. There is a. Okay. So we can show you a little bit. Yeah. We've actually connected it to a note today, and this is how you're gonna very easily connect it to your computer or even your mobile devices. Yeah. So it really is. I can totally imagine you sitting at maybe like Starbucks or a coffee place just working on your Wacom and your phone right beside you connected, okay? So we're gonna check in, okay? So once again, there's no RAM or memory because once yep. again, the Wacom one is just an external screen that you have That's to right. connect into your Android or your Windows or your Mac computers to work on the Wacom one, okay? Now, someone is also asking, so how heavy is it? It's 1kg, we've answered that question. Is there any warranty for the Wacom one? Yes, definitely. All our product comes with one year local warranty okay so one year local warranty for the welcome one thank you so much Yasu, for actually answering all the questions but don't go away yet yep. because we're gonna have our second guest of the day so we're gonna move over a little yeah. bit and invite our second guest of the day we have John he's actually a creative industry so he has a lot a lot of things I'm gonna wait for John to come in first and then I'm gonna shoot. So say hi to John, okay? So this is John. John has 10 years experience working in the creative industry. So, you know, people normally call themselves like illustrator, everything, right? John is like a lot of things. He's an animator, he's a designer, and he's an illustrator. And in fact, earlier, John and I were talking, he actually used to and is still doing freelancing. He's drawing illustrations for children's books, is that right? Yeah. Is that like your passion? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been doing children's books for over six years in the industry. Wow. So um, it's actually my passion to um, use uh, my illustration to tell a story for the children. Uh, actually, I own quite a lot of Wacom oh, tablets really? myself. Wacom yeah. fan yeah, right yeah, here, that's why a, we got him here Cintix today. And I have a Wacom, uh, the Intuo Pro, Pro okay, the okay, latest okay. one. Yeah, I mean, I'm a huge supporter since I'm in my poly days. Yes. When I'm doing you. animation, then yes. after I became a designer, I'm still supporting Wacom. Thank you, yeah. thank you. <laughs> so, we have, yeah. Yeah, so today we have an experienced Wacom user. He's going to tell you what is the difference that we have. And in fact, if you would like to check out John, we're going to give a little shout out to his Instagram. Okay, you can check out his illustrations at C and Saw, okay? Now, I've checked it out just now, Yasu, have yes. you seen it? Yes, it's I've really seen. amazing, okay? So today, John is going to actually display his C and Saw skills right here live for you today, okay? So John, how about you teach us to draw something today? Okay, um... So since... we're gonna put it over to John so that, you know, he can do his professional drawing. And we're also gonna be hooking it up to the old screens so you can see what John is gonna teach us to draw today. So John, what will you be teaching us today? Okay, um, since it's gonna be Chinese New Year soon, mm -hmm. um, let's draw us, uh, start off with a red. 
because it's the year of the rat too. Sure. Okay. Um, Are you gonna keep it easy so that we can yeah, kind of like follow? Easy, you know? Uh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, I mean I I I going to do a very simple one, a uh, very cute one. Um, okay. S. Okay. Um, uh, it started with one circle. Okay, one circle. One okay. Circle. Then after that, uh, two small circles at the side. Two small circles at the side. Okay, so we will be connecting it to your screens in just a bit. Yeah. All right, we have it on the screen. Okay, so okay, um, actually, to be honest, I really like the one. Yeah. Uh, because it's it's quite flexible, especially the pen pressure. It okay. can actually create a lot of um, different line work. I mean, compared to um, some of the earlier one, mm -hmm. I think this time the pen is such it's small. Smaller and lighter. Yes, yes. Yes, and uh, definitely I like the grip uh, compared to the old one. Um, definitely, uh, there's a lot of improvement in this current version. Yeah. Yeah. Because Wacom listens to people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wacom I mean, really takes. That's why I really like about uh, Wacom because every year uh, when you all came out with a new product, I will actually look up to it and check out what is the latest update. Then there's a lot of um, part that you all change based by the artist's point of view. Yes. Yeah, and uh, you already took our comment into consideration. Yes. That's very, very good. Yeah. So, yeah. Choi actually says the pressure sensitivity. That's right. Yeah. So, John uh, demonstrated earlier, he drew one line, but you can see the different actually points. So, there are some thick lines, there are some thin lines. It is all based on pressure sensitivity when it comes to the pen that comes with the Wacom 1, okay? Yep. Uh, okay, uh, let's continue the... Uh, okay, John, we have a request. Okay. Uh, Jing092 says, can you do some shading, maybe at the ears, okay. to demonstrate? Okay, Um. so, shading. Yes. Okay. So maybe do like a little bit of shading to see like the pressure. Wow, oh my goodness, you can see how fine these lines are. So it's actually going to be very easy if, especially if you're a sketch yeah. artist, you like to do sketch, you know, you need the difference, the variation of thin and thick lines. You can very easily achieve that with the Wacom one. Oh, wow. So you, I mean the, the part of shading is you can create different layers. Okay, you can create different layers with the Wacom one. Okay, uh, give me a second. Huh? Okay, so John is actually playing around. We're currently using, okay, Pix Paint on Samsung Dex. So it's very, very flexible. It can use any software that you want to use as long as it is available on either your Android phone or even your Windows or your Microsoft computer. So it's very easy to work with the Wacom one. So John is actually colouring in the reds here right now. Okay, Fiona says doing some pro stuff there. That's right, John is actually doing some pro stuff right here while me and Yasu yes. are just like, wow, wow, amazed. Okay, wow. That's very, oh my goodness, he did it super fast. And then you can see we have the colour of the red here. Okay, John, there are a lot of viewers saying yeah. that um, you do it really fast yeah. and they need you to like teach them. <laughs> okay. okay, so, okay, after you draw the red, okay, so... He has just actually shown you a little bit of the shading. Okay, we don't have intentions to color the full red. So John, you want to continue mm. teaching them how to draw the red first. Oh, okay. Because okay, the color is like level up step, right? So it's more for like level up step. So John has uh, demonstrated a little bit of shading for you, but John's going to show you how to complete drawing the red. Then the coloring in, you can kind of get the Wacom one for yourself and figure that out. How's yep, that? That sounds right, good, right? right. Yeah. Alright. So I try to keep the... My simple, uh, the yes, red simple. The red simple, please. Yes. So you draw, technically, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six circles. Six oh, circles, okay. Yeah. wow, okay. So from there, you can add in two Q leg, one tier. Oh! Because it's Chinese New Year. Oh, man! Okay, this is actually let's really, a, really cute and basic. Let's add a Chinese traditional head. Oh, wow! Yeah. I love it. It's I super mean, cute. what does red usually need? You need cheese. a cheese. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, <laughs> this is a super cute drawing too, you know, like during Chinese New Year, you want to yeah. send messages out. You just draw something on the Wacom one and then you can very easily transfer it to your phone as an image and you can send it out for Chinese New Year as your very own unique Chinese New Year greeting. How does that sound? So much better than using your phone to design yep. something, right? Screen's big enough. Yes, the screen is very big, so it's actually very flexible. So even if you want to get into the little details of your drawing, your illustrations, it is very, very easy to do so with the Wacom screen at 13.3 inches. Okay, so it's at 13.3 inches. 
Okay, so a lot of people are now saying that they need the Wacom one after demonstrating. That's good, you know. that's good. So, okay, John, this yes. is our first drawing of the day. John has taught you how to draw a rat. John, we move on to level two, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> level two is you're going to show us how to draw a Chai Shen Ye. Because oh. once again, you said Chinese New Year, right? It's just round the corner. Let's see a Chai Shen Ye, okay? A very okay. simple one. So, John is very easy going to clear. Very easy as well, okay? We were using this somewhere. It's very easy to clear the layers, create layers. So once again, the Wacom one is actually compatible with many, many different kind of softwares that you as a creative probably would already have been using. So it's very easy to integrate the Wacom one back into your normal practices and your designs, okay? Okay, um, so um, I'm going to do a Chai Shen Yue now. Okay, you're going to do a Chai Shen Yue. Okay, um, usually people see the Chai Shen Yue. Uh, the I feel like it's very complicated. The, I think people will see it as uh, usually when I do uh, illustration for okay. like children book, I yeah. always look for the focus point. Focus like, point. To me, when I look at Chai Sonia, I think of it it must be chubby because chubby. it's got full of gold yes. inside. Yes. 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 Okay. So I uh, will do a chubby Chai Sonia. So you do a very big pear shape. Uh, give me a second. A very big pear shape. Very big pear shape. Okay. So because Chai Sonia has a lot of fortune, mm. a lot of like. Yes, very <laughs> so they're normally very very rounded right. so pear shape okay so John has actually just changed the thickness of the pen to a thinner font okay and he's also controlling it based on the pressure and as well as the degree that he's holding the pen so once again with the Wacom One pens I love it because they are so sensitive yeah. they really mimic use a pen and paper you know when you normally use a pen you have to you know control the kind of pressure that you use on it the degree that you want to get for different strokes that is all achievable with the Wacom one as well as the pen that has very very good grip okay so after the pear shape John what's next okay so you need to add the two eyes two eyes yes very definitely he needs to see. see yeah he needs to see big eyebrow okay eyebrows thick eyebrows as well very very important smiley face Oh, so it actually we, looks like a yeah. fruit now. Yeah. We remember Chai Shen Yue with all the uh, moustache and beard. And all. Yes, a lot so of So you can have a cute moustache and one beard. <laughs> oh, okay. So the cute moustache is like, mm. like this, like this. One stroke right okay. here and there. Okay. And definitely you need the, the prosperity hat. The two years, right? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the two years. Then okay. the years. Okay, so yeah, see, so you then know, you've probably worked with Wacom mm. very long. So we're gonna let John slowly draw the Chai Shen Ye. Okay. Out. Have you had the chance to actually draw anything on the Wacom one? Um, are you an I, illustrator? No, actually not. So, <laughs> so do you use like maybe do you use what other kind of like operating systems you use with the Wacom one? Like can you use Windows? Like yep. um. Can you use uh, Microsoft Word and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, definitely. For Microsoft Word, for me, it's more for writing. Okay. Microsoft Word, Excel, you can do your writing and even on your PDF also. So if you write a lot of notes, uh, study notes, uh, secretary work, it's very good for digital writing also. So you can actually bring the Wacom one to meetings with your phone and then you can very easily write yes, notes. That's right. So you will say that it is very, very convenient yes. because once again, you don't need an operating system like it's not an operating system or it acts like a second three and yes. in fact it gives you much more flexibility because once again yeah, yeah. So just now you said earlier it really caught my attention you said that what, what can we watch on the Wacom yes. one Netflix yeah you can actually use your Wacom one to not only design draw give you flexibility and work but guess what guys you can actually watch Netflix you can yep. even watch YouTube right yes, definitely. yeah you can watch anything from the Wacom one so it really does double up as like an a second screen, you know, a bigger screen for when you want to go out and work, you want to watch videos, you want to draw. When you travel, yeah. I would say this is very, very useful yes. because you don't want to bring something bulky like a laptop or a computer. You want to bring something like this, very easy to connect. And in fact, a lot of people can use it at the same, as in not at the same time, but you know, after you've done using it, you can pass it on to a friend that maybe has an Android phone and can use it in the same place. Yes, that's right. That's, that's right. Definitely. Okay, so let's check in back with John on his Chai Shen Yeah, Looking good. For, yeah, it suddenly like transformed yeah. into this like fashion here <laughs> okay uh jing asked can we watch and draw at the same time um no i don't think you can watch and draw at the same time yeah. unless maybe if your operating system has a split screen correct, function correct. so it really is based on your operating system because yeah. once again the Wacom one works as an extension to your laptops and even your android phones okay so john wow 
it went from like zero to hundred in like snap. You draw really, really quick speed. Okay, so Ong82 is asking how long will it take to charge this? Once again, the Wacom One doesn't have an internal battery. It actually has to be plugged in. So right here, as you can see, there's a wire and it has to be plugged in to use. So you plug it into a power source and from there, you can use a USB-C which you can plug into your phone or even your laptops okay it's very very simple so basically the Wacom one really acts as an external digital pad digital tablet that you can use with your phone as well as your computers especially if you're an artist or maybe you're kind of like a person you yeah. actually use like computers and then you don't really like the flexibility yes. of a mouse yeah right yes yes so you can actually use the Wacom one to tackle that issue and you can very easily work on your desk, uh, on you know, in the office, on the go, just with the Wacom one. Wow, John is even giving in the colors, okay? So Ruth actually asked, how long has this been in the market? Oh, it's just launched this year. 7th yeah. January was launched in CES in America and today is the official launch in Singapore. That's right, so you're hearing it from us on launch day, the Wacom one, and John is like the first few lucky people yes. to yes, have yes. actually had his hands on it. So you can definitely trust John on his reviews because once again, John is actually a very, very loyal Wacom user and he says that this is the one of the best few Wacom products yes, that you've used, definitely, right? definitely. John, are you going to buy this after the stream? Yeah, I mean, I mean, definitely the price is actually something to consider. Very yes, sweet, yes, right? so yes, this yes. is right from a designer and artist point of view. $549 for the Wacom one is a very, very sweet spot for, you know, a tablet or a drawing tablet, even as an external screen. Once again, the Wacom one is 30.3 inches and it has a resolution of 19,020 times 1080, okay? So, $549 is not the promo price, right? It's the forever retail price, yes, right? that's right. Okay, so Yasin here said 549 is the forever price. Yes. You can always get the Wacom one at a very, very, very affordable price. That's right. Okay, so this poll says very cute drawing from a poll, and Fiona says solid price. Yes, that is a solid price, okay? So, since the launch, it was today's launch, right? Yep. Okay, so maybe when before the launch, okay, um, what would you say was one of the biggest improvements you guys have made with the Wacom one? Okay, of course, um, connectivity. Mm -hmm. A lot of people is on the phone now and okay. they want something bigger, we hear you, so that's it. Here comes the Wacom one. Okay, so one of the biggest issues that Wacom has actually brought in with the Wacom one is connectivity yes. because you can now easily connect it to your Android phone. In fact, today we're actually connected to a Samsung yep. phone and that's how John is doing all of these drawings, okay? on the Wacom One tablet, okay? So is there actually any demo model that they can maybe try it out? Yeah, you mean um, in the channel? Um, as in for outside? Wacom One, yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because um, there are viewers asking. Oh, okay. Maybe uh, it will be available in a, quite a lot of shops next week onwards. So if not, then you can always call into Wacom and I can direct you all to the right place. Yeah, so you can call into Wacom, especially if you're an online shopper, okay? You shop on Shopee, right? Right here with us, we are having the Wacom one on Shopee and it comes with delivery rate straight to your house for $549, okay? So you can actually make use of, you know, your Shopee credits or whatever that you use on Shopee. And a lot of people actually ask, is there a need to install additional apps? Uh, not necessary. Um, the apps will be from either your mobile phones or on your desktop like Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop or your mobile phones. Uh, there's an Adobe, um, I think, mobile application also that you can use. So yeah, it's very good. Okay, someone is also asking, can you connect it to an iPhone? No, right? No. But you can connect it to a MacBook, okay? Yep. So you can connect it to an iPhone, but we're actually connected it to Android phones because I realized that Android phones actually, you know, they had the better capability of working offline. Yes. So with your Android phone, you can very easily connect it to the Wacom one. Even if you have a MacBook or even a Windows laptop, you can also connect it to the Wacom one. But the biggest issue that actually Wacom has brought with the Wacom One is the fact that you can connect it with Android phones. Yes. Because a lot of people, especially artists, okay, a lot of my artist friends, they prefer Android phones okay. because it's easier to work on and a lot of them come with like 
the pens to yeah. sketch, right? So yeah. this is basically the Correct. bigger version of that. Okay, so John, yes. are you done? We're gonna flash John's very cute Taishan Ye once. Yeah. And there you have it, okay? Pear shape, guys. Um, how are you going to imitate this drawing? I'm not too sure. I'm going to actually take a photo of this because it is super duper cute. And guess what? Yasu, it's your turn to give drawing a try on the Waka Man because you know, sure. we had questions about beginners, right? You are considered a beginner yes. artist, maybe? Okay. okay, so we're going to pass it on to Yasu and she's sure. going to show us what she's going to draw. You can actually maybe just draw the red that John earlier. So yep. you can touch this square here. Yeah, this one. And you can clear layer and bye bye Taishan yeah. Oh, oh. oh okay. Many. Yeah. Okay, so, so we are yeah. going to actually So you can uh, this one? Yeah then you can clear the layer. Clear the layer right, right, of right, the wonderful right. Taishan that, that John yeah. did. And Yasu is gonna yeah. give her hands on the Wacom yeah. one yeah. tablet, okay? Okay, so what I learned Three circles first. Yes, three there circle. are a total of six circles. One big circle first. One okay. big circle first. Okay, so she's gonna show you how easy it is to draw a red. You guys can try it at home as well. Two so small circles. Two small circles for, for the, the years. years. Okay. Okay. Eyes. Two circles. Dot circle. Dots for the eyes. Two dots. For the eyes, right? Yes. yes. Very cute eyes. And <laughs> one small circle in the, as a nose. Oh, it's looking up. Yes. Um, it's turning up. Then uh, two straight lines for the leg. Two straight lines for the legs. And very importantly, the cheese. The cheese. <laughs> the cheese. Okay, the cheese is a little bit harder. You didn't teach me how to draw the uh, cheese. It, you can, it's a rectangle if you think about it. Wow, Yasu, someone says that your drawing is so symmetrical. So this is a very, very good attempt. Try a tail to it? Yes, yes that's a tail. a tail. Red, very, very important. Have to have the tail, okay? Whiskers? No. Uh, that is a very cute tail, add, actually. It's just three line on uh, the three inside lines. nose. And there we have it. Yasu has drawn a red very easily as John has taught and you can do as well with the Wacom one. Are can you pass? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a mouse. Uh. It's Are a red, it's a mouse. Are you proud of your drawing? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Want to take a small photo to commemorate it? Sure, sure. <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay. So that's a really, really cute drawing. And thank you so much, Yasu, for joining us today and answering all the questions that the viewers had and we had as well. Yep. So we're going to continue on having some fun with the Welcome One and have the sure. giveaway and yep. thank you so much Yasu right, for right, joining thank us you, thank, thank you. you thank you guys okay so John are you ready for the next segment yes John's <laughs> very ready for the next segment because it's a segment where he has actually a very huge advantage but it's a segment that everyone is waiting for everyone has signed up for it is our giveaway segment yay John yay. you wish you were at home watching right yeah it's like I can draw <laughs> but I cannot win the award yeah you okay so I'm gonna help so, you guys <laughs> John and I we're actually Actually gonna do a very very popular Shopee challenge, okay? So I'm just going to actually clear the layers first. Okay, John, maybe you help me clear the okay. layers, okay? So we wanna move a little bit here. Today we are gonna play your favorite game. We're gonna play Pictionary, okay? Yay. So obviously John has an advantage because he's a graphic designer and he can draw and he draws super fast! Oh. So I mean like very common with our Pictionary giveaway We have 8 different words to draw out each, both John and I All you have to do to stand a chance to be one of the lucky winners to walk away with one of the Wacom tablet worth $549 You have to vote for either Team John or Team Abby to win this challenge, okay? Now who's gonna be guessing the drawings? You guys have to guess the drawings as well, okay? So even though you're voting, okay, you probably start voting now. Everyone's voting Team John, obviously, but we'll see, we'll see, okay? So I have a few Team Abby as well. Okay, you can continue voting now for a bit because once we start the game, we need your help to actually guess the different items that we are drawing and only after a viewer has guessed the drawing then can we move on to the next work. Got that clear? Okay, yes. Everyone got that clear, okay? So you have to actually make a guess as well while we are drawing and then only when one viewer has guessed it right we will move on to the next work and then we will also see who 
has managed to complete it in the shortest time. Producers, are you guys going to be timing us? Okay, the producers will be timing us. John, do you want to start or should I start? I think I should start, right? Yes, in yes, case, yes. right? I, okay, so I'm going to start. So John is actually going to help look through the comments to see if there is the correct answer. And once there's the correct answer, you say it out loud and shout it and we'll move on to the next word, okay? Okay. So I'm ready. I have my eight words here. Okay. Okay, guys, you have to really help me guess, okay? So I'm going to... Uh, is the producers ready to time? Okay, what a, I'm going to count down in three, two, one, and I'm going to start drawing the first word. Oh, shit. Um, okay, this looks not like how I thought it would be. Okay, um... Is there anyone guessing it? No, everyone just said Tim John, Tim John, Tim John is winning. Okay, guys, you have to actually guess, okay, what the drawing is. Okay, we oh, have yeah, the someone, someone dragon. dragon. Okay, right, dragon, yeah, right. so I'm going to clear the layer. Next, okay, it's this thingy. And it's like that. Um, okay, this looks more like a ball though, but you know. And then it, it's like this. Okay, maybe I should use the blue colour because it blows um, this cooling thing out. Has anyone guessed it? No, just donut wheels. Oh no! Oh, sorry, I guys, you're okay, wrong. Okay, maybe I'm just going to actually draw. Oh yeah, fan, fan, someone okay, got fan. Okay, we have the fan. Okay, <laughs> next one. Okay, oh man, this one is very easy, but I think I just draw like that, Ken. Okay, I think the ears are totally off, but focus on this, guys. The top of the head. Yeah, guys, just what keep saying. This? Oh, someone said unicorn. unicorn? Yes, unicorn. Okay, correct. great. Next one. Oh, this one's easier. It's just like this. Okay, can anyone guess it, please? Oh no, just John, 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 yes, um, just can Oh no, you. this! Okay, someone guess what this is! Flower! Okay, yes. we have flower! This Oh, this one is a little bit harder. Okay, so it's like this. And then, um, this is actually a place, guys. So this is a place. And then we have this at the back. It's a place you go to, um... I don't know, and then they are probably uh, no, birds no, no, flying. No, 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 he, no, he. Okay, someone says, Park! Let's yes, park. yes, okay, park. Okay, we have park. Okay, this one, a bit easier. It's like this. Iconic, iconic. Iconic, iconic place. Garden by the Bay? No, Garden oh. by the Bay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Near Garden by the Bay. Close, close, very close. MBS, yes, yes, someone said MBS. MBS, okay. Oh, no, this one's quite hard. Hmm. But this is what we've been talking about. Oh. This is what we've been talking about the whole time. So what is this thing? Wacom. Wacom. And you're right. Alright, okay. And then the last one is this colour. It's like, oh, this is very hard. It's just this. A patch of green. It looks like vomit <laughs> lah, but... It's the thing that, you know, people like to actually like press press on it. ASMR, like the... ASMR. Oh no, this looks like a durian. <laughs> um, it's... Oh, this is quite challenging. Eh? Yeah, this is quite <laughs> challenging. It's this colour. People like to press on it. I don't... Okay. Oh, slime, slime. Someone got yes, slime. Yes, someone got slime. Okay, time up. Oh my goodness. Most stressful. And not bad. Eh? Thing. <laughs> this is a, bad, like, eh? a very stressful challenge because I'm drawing beside a designer, you know. It's like so stressful to draw beside a designer. But we're not going to reveal the timing yet. Okay, John, it's your turn. I okay. mean like, you are like the fastest drawer that I know. Lah. So I'm very excited to see you draw, okay. I have the word list for you right here. I'm going to be looking through the comments. So once again, guys, don't forget to actually make a guess, okay. John, are you ready? Hold on. We're yep. going to do a countdown so the producers will actually um, help us do a countdown. Alright. So once again, you have to actually count. Okay, we're going to count down in 3, 2, 1, and go! John, you got to guess what John is drawing, okay. okay? Wow, it's very, very nice. Okay, we're going to switch very, very closely. And wow, this is like high-level drawing. Like, I wouldn't even think to draw this if I had this word. Rainbow! Okay, we've okay. got rainbow. Next word. Let's go. Next word, okay? Next word. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> this is easy because you taught everyone how to draw it just now. And we have it. Okay, very fast. It is... Okay, red! Yes, we got yes. red. Next one, okay. Well, okay hey, this one is, why is, my, well, my one so hard? One's <laughs> hey, but John, you need to understand you draw really, really fast. Eh, for And you draw really accurately, okay? So... <laughs> Okay. Challenging, my one very, very this challenging. This is challenging. Someone actually said Big Bird. No, it's not a dragon. <laughs> it's not Big Bird, guys, okay? It's not a dog as well. 
Okay, someone said lion dance. Okay, oh my nice. god, she didn't even have to draw the whole thing. Okay, Artist. next, next one. Oh no, he said the word. Okay, but you have still have to draw it. <laughs> okay, so he's drawing it out. You have to guess this thing that he, oh, it's a very cute man. It's a very cute. Man, okay, okay, so this man has paid artists. Someone said artists. Alright, let's move on to his next word. Wow, guys, okay. this is super fast. John uh, is so skillful as an artist. He's not just a very skillful artist, you know. He draws really, really quickly. And what is this? It's looking a bit like a. Like those fireplace holders. Okay, someone said bamboo. Okay. So the clue is, this is a place, a place in Singapore, Gardens by the Bay. Alright, we got Correct. it. Okay, next word. John wow. has three more words okay, left. Yeah, okay. this, this is quite challenging. This is a little bit more challenging. I'm very, very curious to see how John is going to draw this word out. It's a little bit more complicated, okay. And um, that looks like people or matchsticks. I'm not too sure. It looks like, oh, wow. It's for me, I'm really fast. Someone said Q. No, it's not Q. It's not chess. It's not a concert as well. But it is something else. Crowded. Yes, it's a crowd. But what is it? Okay. Parade. Oh my god. Oh, they got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, six, people got parade. Wow. John, okay. your drawings are so good that people get it in like just a few go. Okay. This one's very easy as well. I'm going to give a clue. It's something that, uh, that we, we were using. Something related to what we were using. Okay. It's not a stick. I see the word stick. Okay, it's not a stick, but you use it's not a lantern either. We have a very it's not a toothbrush. It is a pen, okay? It is a pen, but you have to be more accurate. It is the what pen? It's a stylus. What are we what is this? What is this? Tell us. What com pen? Alright, next it's last John's last word. Let's go for it, okay? This is John's last word. Okay? So John. Okay. What is the last word? Uh, I cannot say. John I cannot is drawing say. out. John is drawing out. Draw as fast as you can. Okay. So a lot of people are saying, uh, Team John really need a one com team cola bear. No, it's not. Okay, it's not the real life animal. Someone actually said hamster. It's not a hamster. It's not a real life animal. It is what? It is something that you hug. Okay, guys, this is a huge clue. You hug. It's not a teddy. A teddy is a very specific form. How do you do it? A very generalized. Plushy, okay, someone okay, said plushy yeah, and we are done. What is the time? Okay, so now our producers will be writing the times out. John, how do you find your words actually? Uh, it's actually pretty hard. It's pretty hard, but I would say that you draw it really fast and really accurately. Like, I wouldn't even know how to draw parade. Yeah, actually it's quite challenging. That, and, that but you came up with the idea for drawing parade so fast. Uh, Does it normally take you very long to think of designs? Uh, not really, because actually I have a lot of idea in mind. So it's just that how I'm going to represent that particular object or words into an illustration that it actually fits. So it's actually part of my... Um, doing children book illustration that where I need to simplify things for people to understand. Okay, do you yeah. think the Wacom one will definitely help you with like, oh, your children as illustrations? Definitely, it's actually very very fast and it actually detects uh, the movement that I do mm -hmm. which is very very accurate. Uh, that's what I really love about um, Wacom because of uh, their pen and the pen is definitely so smooth and for the ages that you can do, it's definitely good. Yeah, I mean, I mean personally I really really like this product. Yep. That's right. So you heard it from John himself about the Wacom One. It's time for the challenge. John has completed it in 3 minutes and 29 seconds. But I've completed it with in 2 nice. minutes and 49 seconds. Oh my goodness. The kind of word I'm getting is really pretty Yes, hard. okay. To be honest, John really... You know why? Because John's an artist. So he's a little bit of a perfectionist when he draws Pictionary. Then he really has to draw it out. But I just like... Um, 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 <laughs> right, but it's okay. Good job, everyone. Our producers will be selecting two winners for the giveaway, okay? Let's tune in and see if there any other comments. So, can you tell us more, you know? For, okay, we are going to return the board, mm. John. For your, for the price point of 549, you would actually advise, maybe if I'm an illustrator friend, I just started out on illustrating. Okay. You Would you advise me to get the Wacom one for the price of $549? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, because um, compared to the price that I bought uh, Cintiq in the past, mm -hmm. this is definitely a way lower price that I can get. Uh, and definitely, it's so much lighter compared to a lot of uh, 
like a screen type. Oh, of, really? Yeah, uh,